so now I'm going to show you how to arrange flowers from a bodega. We talked about selecting flowers from the bodega and trying to get as fresh as possible. And what I've done here is I've selected flowers that are all kind of in the same color family. That's a really nice trick for making something look a little bit nicer. If the flowers aren't as high quality, if you keep something in a palette that's very similar, it can look a little more sophisticated. Um, and with any flower arrangement, especially bodega flowers, you want to make sure that you clean the stems all the way down, anything that's going to sit in the water line. I have chosen a vessel here that's pretty casual, and I think that really pairs well with the bodega flower look. And in terms of cleaning the flowers, I discovered once I pulled out those packages of bodega flowers that I actually had some snapdragons that are rotting a little bit. They're not the highest quality. So I want to show you how to clean those up and no one will ever know the difference. All you have to do is pull off the rotten blooms and you'll discover that when you get to the top, you actually have a pretty decent snapdragon. And as long as this stem isn't slimy or coming apart in your hand and it's just the blooms that are a problem, just toss those. And then you have a flower that's nice and cleaned up, kind of classed it up. So just casually gather bodega flowers, cleaning them as you go, and maybe make this arrangement in your hand. And at the very end, we can cut it and place it in the vase. Again, if you're using flowers like carnations and mums and snapdragons, some of the flowers that are considered less expensive, maybe a little bit lower quality, I would go for a wild flower or a casually gathered look. So you can start placing them in your hand, turning the bouquet around a little bit, if you have a flower that's less expensive from a bodega and it's like a carnation and you have it kind of sticking up with an airy look, it doesn't look as sophisticated. But this is a way that you can make the flowers look actually like they are a little more special. So, so as you can see, I've been twirling this bouquet around in my hand and adding flower after flower. Mostly the flowers are all on the same plane or what we call a pave arrangement. And with the colors being similar and the flowers all on the same plane, you can start to see that it's looking a little more sophisticated than it might otherwise. Even though we have kind of a casual vase, we have kind of casual flowers. So I'm gonna measure, try and measure the height of the vase. And I want these to sit pretty low and tight in the vase. Again, I feel like that makes them look a little more sophisticated. I might trim the bottoms a bit. And I can always add a few more blooms at the end. But you can adjust as you see fit, twirl it around a little bit. But I really think that everything kind of low and tight in the vase really helps the look. And just keep adding at will. These bodega flowers were not very expensive, so you can use a lot of blooms. Clean them up. Continue to clean them up and add things as you go. Get a nice shape going. Pull them up if you need to. And that is how you arrange flowers from the bodega.